Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel, and uh, we're going to tune around the uh, Dijon DE1103 on uh, from 3,000 to 4,000 kilohertz on the shortwave bands, and of course with single sideband and all of that being used. Um, it's plugged into the MLA30 loop outdoors, so that's how it will get its signals. So there's an outdoor antenna on it. And we're going to start by uh, tuning around with the uh, single sideband. So we're going to turn it on, single sideband. Turns on a little red light here. And the uh, fine tuning for the uh, sideband is on the side here. So it's really a BFO in reality. Makes it a little more tough, a little more difficult to tune around single sideband signals. And we'll have to tune a few of them because we're going to go through the 80 meter amateur band from three to 4,000. So we're probably going to hear a few. So let's start tuning. We'll put the volume up. Now, you might, uh, you might wonder why this happened. This radio is divided into bands that are pre-programmed. So when you tune around, you actually jump into these band plans. So you see here, and it has to do with this needle at, at the bottom. So it will jump from one to the other. So you have to manually tune a frequency outside of it if you want to continue tuning where you were. And of course here it removes single assignment. We'll put it back so that we can tune. And let's uh, continue our tuning. So here's a station. That's WWCR 3215. And you know what? He's all sufficient. Jesus is enough. He comes in, he floods your heart. He realigns everything. CHU Canada time signal. And now we're gonna go. We're gonna go back into single sideband. So this is a Shannon Weather Station Aeronautical Volmet Station in Ireland. And now we're entering the 80 meters amateur radio band. is the FT8 band, 3574.
I like those people in the car with them. They were screaming and yelling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to save it, old man. I got to save it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Exactly the same way, uh, Larry. Yeah, if I was a girl, I would definitely be gay, that's for sure. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, um, yeah, so let's look so forward. this is uh, AMers on 80 meters. So that was tuning around 3 to 4 megahertz or 3,000 to 4,000 kilohertz. Uh, some might notice how easy it was for me to tune the single sideband. There's the habit knowing where to tune to center it because there's several kilohertz that you can actually go up and down. You have to be right on the center frequency before it really works well. And I keep my BFO here tuned as center as possible. And if you want a trick about the center here, I'll give you one. Um, for example, if I go to 3215, where there was this station, what I do is I get myself in sideband. Okay. So I'm just going to put the volume up. So I put myself in sideband. Now you hear a tone. I will tune or turn the BFO until once you zero beat and the voice sounds audible and you don't hear a tone anymore, your BFO is pretty much centered. And a lot of hams actually are quite centered on frequency. So that will give you already 
something to play with that's already pretty much where it should be. An example that I'll give you is that uh, station that we were listening to, Shannon Vomit. If I go to three, four, one, three, oops, three, a little, little bit of key bounce after a few time, a few uh, years of not being used much. One, three, enter. Notice how I'm very close to the voice. And the reason I'm close to the voice is because I already had zero beat on some station. I know where I am in the BFO and to center it. So that was tuning 3000 to 4000 kilohertz on the Degen DE1103. More videos coming up with this receiver uh, in the next few days probably, including medium wave and long wave. I haven't done scans of that bands, those bands with this radio in a long time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.